Okay, so this is uh, some extra help on problem one from the relations homework that you asked for. So um, you're asked to decide um, if these relations here are, it's mostly asking for reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. Okay, so... Uh, I'll just go through all three. Um, there are six different choices here, and you know you'll ask questions like, I think the first one that you're asked is something like, um, is R two yeah, is R two reflect reflexive, etc. So instead of just telling you which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect, um, let's just go through the ideas: reflexive, symmetric, and transitive for many of these, and then see if you can. You know, um, apply those ideas and 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 choose the correct choices. I, I will point out one thing: we didn't talk about. There's there's one question that asks about anti-symmetric. We didn't talk about that in class. Um, so for that one that asks uh, about is R four anti-symmetric? Yes, it is. If you want to know why, it's it's because anti-symmetric doesn't mean it's not symmetric. It just means that. If basically it means if i j is there, then j i is not there, and that that R four does hold does satisfy that property. So just click, just click that box for that one. Um, I think that's K for you. So that one you should be checked, but for all the rest you should be able to decide because we did cover all the other concepts: reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Let's just start with, with uh, the first one, R one. Right, so this is our one right here. Okay, let me undo that so you can see it better. Um, <clears throat> okay, so is R one reflexive? Remember what reflexive means? It means that uh, A is related to A for all A. So let's check. Is is notice the only things in the set are two, three, four. The only things in R1 are 2, 3, and 4. Does that make sense? There are no other numbers in R1. So um, we have to ask ourselves, to be reflexive, 2, 2 has to be there, 3, 3 has to be there, and 4, 4 has to be there. Are they all there? It's got 2, 2. It's got 3, 3, but it doesn't have 4, 4. So it, it, R1 is not reflexive. The definition of reflexive is every element has to be related to itself, and 4 is not related to 4, so that's why R1 is not reflexive. Let's ask, is R1, is R1, um, shoot that up, so is, is R1 symmetric? Well, um, let's ask that question. Again, the same set, R1. Remember what symmetric means? It means it's an if-then statement. It says if A is related to B, then B is also related to A, and that, in other words, for every ordered pair you see, you have to see the opposite ordered pair in reverse order in the same relation. Well, see how we... 2, 2 is fine. We, it doesn't really matter. 2, 2 implies 2, 2. But 2, 3 would have to imply that 3, 2 is also there. And it is. So we're okay so far. 2, 4 would have to imply that 4, 2 is there. Oh, I don't see a 4, 2 anywhere here. I don't see 4, 2 at all. So it looks like... It's not symmetric. So we've got, so since we have 2, 4, but not 4, 2, no. Make sense? It's not symmetric. It's not reflexive. It's not symmetric. But well, again, let's ask for is R1 transitive? Is R1 transitive? So the definition of transitive is. If you ever have a B and you have B C, then it must hold that you have a C. So in other words, if you can find any two ordered pairs where the middle ones are the same, then you have to find an ordered pair that has the two outer ones a and B. I'm oh, sorry, a and C, a and C. Does that make sense? So um, for any a B C, so those a B C can be anything. So for example, back to R one. Let me zoom in a little bit. I can't, yeah, okay, I can zoom in. Yeah. So back to R1. Uh, notice we've got 2, 3, and 3, 2. So since we have 2, 3, 
and 3, 2. That means we need to make sure we have 2, 2, because those are the two outer ones. Do we? Do we have 2, 2 there? Yeah, we do. It's the first one. So, okay. But we, that has to be true for every time that we have that situation. So, for example, um, what else? Uh, we have, let's see, we have, I'm trying to think. Uh, what else could we check? We have three, we have three, two, and two, three. So we need three, three, right? These two outer ones. Do we have three, three? We do. So, so far we're okay. So far we're in good shape. What else do, can I can I put together here? Um, I just have to find any two pairs where the middle number is the same. So we have two, we, we, combined, we combined two, three, and three, two. We already did those two. We combined, there's nothing to combine two, four with because there's no, there's no relation that starts with four. So I don't need to worry about that one. What could I combine? Um, <clears throat> oh, look at this one. I have another one. Two, three, and three, sorry, two, three, and three, four. So since I have two comma three and I have three comma four, that means since the middle numbers are the same, I need to have 2, 4. Otherwise, it'll fail transitivity. Do I have 2, 4 in here? I do. It's right there. So, so far, we're good. What else? I have 3, 2, 2, 3, and I have 3, 3. I have 3, 3, I have 3, 4. Yeah, I, I, I checked every possibility, and they all pass. So, yes, yes, R1 is transitive. Okay, so, so anytime we're asked questions about R1, like for example, uh, question I says, R1 is not symmetric. We just said, no, it's not symmetric. So, so um, R1 is not symmetric. And if it asks you any questions about R1 being reflexive or transitive, you know how to answer it now. We know it's not reflexive and it is transitive. Let's go through those same questions for R2. And then, uh, what I hope you're learning from this homework is, how to evaluate whether it's reflexive or symmetric. Take a look at R2. You see R2 is a, is a relation on, it's a relation on one, two, three, four. Those are the only numbers you see in there for R2. Zoom in a bit. Okay, so so to be reflexive, it would require, sorry about that, so to be reflexive, it would have to be the case that um, we would need one related to one, two related to two, etc. In other words, one, one is a, is a pair, two, two is a pair, three, three is a pair, and four, four is a pair. That would be all of them, right? Are all four of these in R2? Just look at it, and I think they are. There's one, one, there's two, two, there's three, three, there's four, four. Yeah, so, so R, R2 is reflexive. What about is R2 symmetric? So remember what we're looking for is for symmetric? You're saying whenever we have one pair, A, B, we have to also have B, A. So I just have to look for pairs. It only matters to check ones where the, the two things in the order pair are different. You see how we have a 1, 2 here? So we also better have 2, 1, and we do. You see how we, uh, we don't have any other pairs that are different? So yes, that's the only thing to check. Yes, it's symmetric. R2 is both reflexive and symmetric. The last question is R2 transitive. Is R2 transitive? In other words, it's what we were saying before. If I find two pairs, like for example, I have one, two, and I have two, one, so it, I, it requires that I also have one, one, and I do, because one, one is in there. I don't think there's anything else to check. You don't have to check transitive when, like for example, I don't have to ask myself about one, two, and then two, two, because if one of them is like the same two numbers, it's not going to change anything. That would require I have one, two, but of course, that's just the same as the first entry. So R2 is also transitive. Okay, so this one, R2, is all three. Um, so by the way, that makes it an equivalence relation because it's R3. It's all three of those. What about R3? R3 is really short, so we should be able to do that one quickly. Is it reflexive? Well, to be reflexive, it would have to contain, you see how it has elements 2 and 4 in it? It would have to contain 2, 2, and 4, 4. It doesn't contain either of those. 
So no, it doesn't have those. Is it symmetric? Is R3 symmetric? Well, look, it only has two elements. It only has two pairs in it, two, four, and four, two. Since those are opposites of each other, since there's are you know, since the first one says two is related to four and the second one says four is related to two, yes, there's nothing else to check. If there was nothing in a relation, it would be symmetric, right? The only times you have to check for symmetry is anytime you have any A comma B, it also has to have B comma A, and it does. You only have to check the one the one pair that was in there. Four two implies two four, and two four implies four two. Okay, so it's not reflexive. It is uh, symmetric. Is it transitive? Okay, so to be transitive means whenever we just said right. Whenever you have a comma b and b comma c, then you have to have a comma c. Well, look, we have we have two comma four, and we have four comma two. So we need. 2 comma 2, otherwise it won't be transitive, and we don't. We don't have that one. It's not in there. So no, it's not transitive. So R3 is not reflexive, it is symmetric, and it's not transitive. So so if you're looking at your your questions on your problem, question B says, is R3 reflexive? So you would you you would uh, you would not check that box. And there's another question D that says, is R3 symmetric? You would check that one. Okay, um, so we've just gone through enough for you. You can answer quite. You can answer A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, I, <laughs> K, already. The rest involve um, the other relations: R four, R five, and R six. And, and I'm hoping that you can. Um, I, I think Alex, you're the one who asked for this. Uh, that you can. Decide, like look at R5. Like you can look at it and see it's definitely reflexive. It's got all the pairs. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So hopefully you can apply the same thinking to the other three. Let me know if you get stuck. If you're running out of attempts, uh, send me another email. At least just tell me which ones you're stuck on. That'll probably be a more beneficial way than if I just tell you all the correct ones. Okay, good, good luck. I hope that helps.